Two. Hello and welcome to Band of Badgers. My name's Joe and I am the DM for our Tomb of Annihilation campaign. And these are my players, as you'll see. Um, if you've been following our other videos, we've been going through some sort of character evolution and character creation uh, using Hero Forge. So what I'm going to be doing today and now is speaking to Steve, who plays Azrael, and we're going to be discussing both his character creation, uh, his backstory, and also building the character in Hero Forge as we, we discuss it. So yeah, Steve, if you wanted to give obviously your name and class and race, etc., and a little bit of the, your backstory, that'd be great. Okay, so I I am uh, now playing a Tabaxi, Asriel, as you said, um, a Tabaxi cleric of Ibteo. Um When we were generating our characters, that wasn't the original plan. I was actually going to play something else. So I was thinking about playing a creature race rather than a humanoid race. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, there's, there's a lot of options here on uh, Hero Forge. You, know, you can pretty much play anything from Volos and uh, we did find a copy of Volos in game. Yes, there you uh, go. In our first session, um, you know, so here's orcs, goblins, kobolds, zombies. <laughs> There's a, a lot of zombies in the jungles of the Troll, but oh, unfortunately, yeah, you can't play them. <laughs> <laughs> well, but we, we never know. There might be a second or third character. <laughs> Just save time in the long run. Um, so, so yeah, I, I wanted to play uh, something a bit different, something I haven't played before. So mm -hmm. I, I ended up um, going for Tabaxi, uh, and I am now a cleric. And, and Ibteo is one of the clerics, uh, one of the gods, one of the pantheon from Chul. Uh, was a titan. Um, he's called the Betrayer because he actually betrayed the rest of the titans uh, uh, when they fought against the, uh, the, the modern gods. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, But he stayed on. Uh, he stayed on and was gifted the land of Chult, um, and he was the, the, the primary god there. Most people worshipped uh, Upteo uh, until they started to fall out of grace, and eventually he got the ump and buggered off. Yep. Um, so it's not, it's not a very big following, um, but uh, I ended up following Upteo because I was taken in by a priest in Mesro. I was uh, born and brought up in Mesro. Um, but uh, Chult is somewhere that attracts uh, a lot of outsiders. Um, or treasure hunters in particular and there was uh, one particular group of treasure hunters didn't really know what they were doing turned up in chill ill prepared um, to head out into the jungle looking for treasure uh, and there was an incident and my father was killed and um, killed by a poisoned arrow which I in fact have in my possession still now uh, poisoned arrow no longer poisonous it's, it's dried out over the years um, and that was something that we actually rolled up uh, as my trinket during session zero, so I incorporated that into, into the backstory because I like to do that. I like to draw inspiration from just random things, and I think the, the yeah. trinket rolls are a good way of doing that. So, yeah, yeah. I was take, taken in by the priest, um, uh, talked to follow Upteo, and, and you know, travelled round Chult, ended up in Port Nisreu. I always say that wrong. Um, <laughs> I've watched like a hundred different streams and everyone pronounces it differently and even throughout all of the streams they pronounce it about six or seven different ways. <laughs> so, I have no idea how he's supposed yeah, to say it. I, I've said Noin Zaru, but I don't even know if that's correct. So. It's no wonder it takes 15 days to get there by sea. Nobody can find the damn <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where are you going? Port Nunzaru. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 14 days of trying to spell it right in the GPS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, as, as you were saying, like, I, I also love like um, taking bits of like flair from other stuff, like the, the dart, and I do agree that that's a really good way of adding to your backstory as well. Um, but yeah. But, uh, I didn't, I didn't want to spend a huge amount of time writing a very elaborate backstory because... Um, Tomb of Lion Annihilation isn't really a game where we're going to end up going back and writing wrongs or anything like that. It's not, it's not like a homebrew campaign. We're not going to have an origin story episode or anything like that. Yeah. 
So it was just going to be, right, well, this has happened, boom, that's it. There's an interesting bit of thing we can talk about on a, uh, on a campfire episode or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. But it's done, it's, it's over and done with, and, and this is where we are now, sort of thing. Um, yeah. The whole premise of the character, like the tabaxi, I guess I thought, right, well, let's, let's go to back, see what, what do I want to build the character around? Um, I wanted to build it around speed, and you let us have uh, a free feat and a one very kindly. Uh, so I went for mobility. So I was very much going to be the... Uh, let's, hold let's on. He's holding, he's holding his sword by his tail. I'm just <laughs> like... <laughs> like... That, is, that is amazing. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off there, but that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 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 a dagger. So it's it's um yeah. I'm, I'm not very much with a heavy heavy weaponry. I've I've, I've definitely gone the dexterity route. So that's agile weapons mm-hmm. uh, to max out the dexterity and stuff like that. And I like say that the original character was not going to be a cleric. I was actually going to be um, a rogue, and I was probably going to go down the assassin route. Yep. Uh, but uh, yeah, we ended up uh, needing the cleric. So I thought, yeah, we I can still make cleric work. You know, the the the, the build around um, uh, you know tabaxi and the mobility feet and the hit and run that was that was always going to be the way I wanted to go. You know, like parkour and stuff like that. So I was very much inspired by Assassin's Creed. Yeah. So the uh, the the aesthetic was the uh, Assassin's Creed Unity Renaissance style with a hood and, and the half cloaks and all that sort of stuff very plain clothing otherwise uh, yeah, neutral earth tones mm-hmm. uh, for colouring and you know you just picture yourself perched on top of a building uh, on top of a gargoyle overlooking the street you know, just about to drop down on somebody just... and uh, lay waste so that that was that was the um the inspiration and and the way I intend to play the character as well. Um, now that I've gone cleric, I'm, I'm not going to be your atypical healer. You know, there is healing, mm-hmm. obviously, but I've gone with the trickery. <laughs> <laughs> so, I literally made it up like a weird gasp when I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> that looks that looks kind of almost what I do, uh, like envisage as you know, as almost. I don't know about yourself. That that is that is very similar to what I was going for, yeah. 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 I mean, your Maybe your one um, your one parkour in the game so far didn't sort of go to plan. I think you end up like grinding face first up against the wall, or, or <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it, it didn't go great. <laughs> now, now the knife throw though. Yeah. I, I did nail the knife throw, yes. So I failed at the acrobatics, but I nailed the knife throw. <laughs> uh-huh. So, so yeah, so you that, was... that's that's how I want to play the character. Yeah, you know, I, I want there to be lots of movement because as Tabaxi, you get to um, double your movement speed once once per turn, and then you have to you have to stand still for a whole turn. Um, so you know, flurry of movement little bit of stopping, re- recharging that with the mobility feet. I can stab on the way past and not invoke an attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunity. Um, and I'll probably stick with um, daggers and uh, and the short bow is my w- weapon of choice. So yeah, that's that, that's 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 going to be the play style uh, um, from a from a cleric point of view. I've got the trickery domain. Um, so there's going to be buffs. You know, there's like you know, mirror image is one of your uh, spells that you pick up at second level spell casting, so third level. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of your always prepared spells. Um, you know, got spiritual weapon, fine traps. So I've, I've picked that one. Um, blessed, obviously, and yeah, it, it's going to be a, a more of a buff build mm-hmm. um, than, than a healer's build. Nice. Um, so yeah, with regards to um, like multi-classing, what level are you? Are you doing two levels of uh, healer and one level of rogue, or vice versa? Um, I'm, Look, I'm I found the arrow, Steve. 
Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. The arrow's on the hip. Can can he hold the arrows in his tail? <laughs> As if he can shoot the tail or the bow with the tail. Yeah, I think he can out. put an arrow in the tail. He's, he's already got his sword, <laughs> like another sword in his tail. <laughs> no. No, no, it's just a weapon then, isn't it? No, no ammunition. Oh, he got his tail though. That's interesting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I will I will be multi classing one hundred percent gonna multi class. Mm -hmm. Uh I'm gonna take full level cleric. Um, okay. Just so I can pick up the feet that you get at fourth level. Um so I'm gonna take uh, resilience in dexterity so I get my proficiency bonus added to my dexterity saving throw and I get to increase my dexterity score, which would push my dexterity to twenty. Yep. Um, and then at fifth level, I'll take first level rogue. Cool. Um, and then I'll decide after that. You know, what you're putting which your way to go. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now I'll probably end up going straight to rogue level two, to be honest, because you get cunning action, uh, which mm -hmm. allows you to spend your bonus action to uh, dash or disengage um, and that sort of stuff. So it just it adds into. Going the yep. whole move, movement really fast, yeah. Uh, attack and go, sort of thing, yeah. I love the backseats for that as well. Um, I just think they're so agile and you can cover a lot of distance over a battlefield really quickly. So, you can like, and even as a, a, a healer, like, you can be on one side of a battlefield and then someone's having trouble on the other side, and you can be there in one turn almost and like lay on hands or, or what have you yeah um, yeah and, very, and of course very one, handy, of really cool things, <laughs> one of the really cool things is uh, with a trickery domain at second level you can use your channel divinity to create a duplicate of yourself yeah well, I've, I've not actually witnessed that but can you sort of go through that a bit and what so benefits can, that would uh, have and, and whatnot? You create a, a double of yourself, so it's a complete double. Um, you can move that double up to 30 feet per round uh, on your go. Um, and as long as it stays within 120 feet of you, it you can attack or it can attack. Uh, you can cast spells through it. So like the, the battlefield um, thing you were just talking about there, I could create a duplicate of myself moving and you know, running across the battlefield. I could... You know, go and hide behind a tree or something and then the duplicate can run across the field of battle and uh, do the q light wounds on, on the on the down person I can fire the shield bow from, from relative safety of some cover or something like that so it gives you another strategic element um, to, to play with on the battlefield and what happens if the, your duplicate or docking or whatever you wish to call it takes damage Does, it, is, it gets is... destroyed Okay. I can't actually the... remember how many ammo state damage it can take before it goes. Okay. Does the doppelganger take up the its originals action slots, or do you actually just have a second figure that has the same amount of actions as the original? Uh, no, it, it takes your actions. Okay. Cool. So it's, it's not it's not like. Um, I suppose it is like a summon creature because in order for a summon creature to do the attacks, you normally have to direct it, which will take your action. But mm -hmm. um, it's it's just the whole again going back to the, trying to stay out of, out of as much trouble as possible because I'm I'm not a tank, I'm not a tank cleric. You know, there's obviously clerics you can play that are fully armored um, and are as good as fighters, uh, especially yeah. when you when you hit the later levels and you get to um, divine strike and stuff like that. I am not that. I am a uh, very much a uh, a lightweight build, um, move around, stay out of trouble, try and do as much damage as possible with a bow, um, and then obviously when I go uh, rogue as well, couple that with sneak attack damage if I can get the right hits in. You know, mm -hmm. hit the people that are standing next to Cork, for example, um, and have this doppelganger of me move across the battlefield and try and distract attention away from me as much as possible um, and then be able to deliver spells at a greater range than I would normally that's 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 really the tactic I'm going for cool 
So, um, with regards to sort of uh, your fur, or I suppose it would be might be skin, but probably fur. What sort of colour did you envisage? Um, sort of a, a tabby cat sort of colour, so a tawny, olivey brown, I guess. So um, not quite as dark as what's on the screen at the moment. That one, I think. Oh. Um, also, whilst we, whilst uh, Dave's looking for that at level three, what um, a, a divinity boss is it? Divinity? Have you yeah, chosen? So you... Well, I don't, you choose that at first level, so you, oh, you, do you? you, okay. you choose your trickery domain, you choose your domain uh, um, at first level, so you get channel divinity at second, right. and turn undead, but you, you've pretty much set your path at first level. At first level, okay. So you don't get to, to choose anything at third other than uh, your second level spells. Right. Um, and the second level spells I've gone for is actually fine traps or fine traps, lesser restoration. Um, can't remember the other one I chose, but then, like I say, I get mirror image um, and a lot of the arcane based divine spells mm -hmm. uh, for, for being in that trickery domain. Fine traps will maybe possibly come in useful, I'm sure. <laughs> I figured and an, an, a lesser restoration as well I figured it might come in useful <laughs> yes quite possibly <laughs> so oh is that is that a cat hat on the second <laughs> uh, second row down we heard you've got a cat so you put a cat on your cat that one, uh, you got a bear headdress. Uh, yeah. You can have a bird nest. <laughs> Be like that guy in um, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so the, the other cool thing with tabaxes as well is you get a um, a natural attack. Uh, yeah, the claws. Yeah. That's... So I, I I did think about going for a monk as well um, you know the, the, the monk uh, natural weapons uh, flurry of blows like with, with the, the cat's claws mm -hmm. yeah pretty good combination yeah for sure yeah but, um, you know, I, I, haven't, I haven't played um, a, a rogue in D&D &D 5e uh, so I thought I'd give it a go they are, they are very good fun yeah yeah, yeah rogues are good yeah. And I think we will need one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but equally as much as a cleric. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of filling two roles, I suppose, in the, the, that are probably needed. Don't die. More. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're the backbone of the party, Steve. So, you know, it's all on yeah. you. <laughs> no pressure. I've just noticed the, um, the amount of detail that Hero Forge have. It even has the underfoot pads. Oh, oh wow, oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. That, that is crazy. That's incredible. Are you. Uh, 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 the, how far does the DL go? Can you change the colour of the underfoot pads? Uh, yeah. We well, should be able to. <laughs> so you can pick a colour that's just something that uh, comes up with something like completely opposite so we can see. There you go. Oh, wow, so yeah. You, you yeah. could have red. red Red feet. Were they uh, Louis Vuittons or something? Louis Vuittons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, Christian. Meet, meet our next, yeah, meet, meet, uh, our next sponsor. It <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> starts going around red, yeah. red soles. Yeah, I'm, I'm a size 12, just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's amazing. The mounts on this do look really good as well. You've got a pony. Right. Yeah. Not got a mastiff though for uh put him on the bike. You put him on the... I love how everyone's like, oh, oh, no, I want to put him on the bike. Be, it's gotta be the other one, it's gotta be the other one. As you as you say, the, the Cyberpunk twenty seven seven is no. around the corner. Yeah. 
The Harley White Boy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Is it White Boy or Fat Boy? I can't remember which one it is, but yeah. Huh. I think they've got both, so yeah. Yeah. So that's really cool. But yeah, I love I love like the backseas as well. I pretty much now if I get the option will always choose to play the backseat. I just think they're great. So. It's it's my first time playing one. Um but yeah, they 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 get some really interesting stuff. Mm. Um, feline agility, I think it's just it's just it's great. Yeah, you, you get a climb speed as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, with mobility, my base speed is forty. I get to do that twice. I'm um, moving eighty feet. I climb a wall at twenty five feet mm-hmm. as part of that as well. You know, so yeah. should should be should be useful. Yes. Um, Inside and out. <laughs> yeah, no. See, my favourite is a Tabaxi Monk because then you're just moving a ridiculous distance. Um, yeah. yeah. Cool. Is that is that how you'd envisage your character? Is there anything that you would possibly change or like to adjust? I, I think that's that's pretty close. Um, I think the. the... Oh. <laughs> yeah, <I was> there. <laughs> yeah we, we might need that one for later. Stay in your shoes. I might change the pads of the feet back from, from <laughs> some other colour. Um, but yeah, I, I think the pose pulling the bow is is one I would go for. Um, uh-huh. maybe, is it? What was it? What does the leaping one look like? Yeah, the one above it. That is on that one foot. Very agile. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like he's jumping backwards and firing. No, which is, you know, that's, that's part of what I imagine. I've, I've just scaled a wall, mm. uh, leap backwards off the wall, fire a bow, tuck into a somersault and, uh, and land. Yes. Yeah. Hero pose on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, superhero landing. Providing their dice rolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say in, in session zero. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. So, do we want to leave it there? So, yeah. I, and and so I, I'm obviously anyone that took damage when I. I, I think so. Yes. Uh, um, you you took a significant amount of damage. Cork uh, also took a bit. Yeah, I think. Did you go down to half damage or? <laughs> I, I was on the half hit points. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those axe beat axe beats hit reasonably hard when they yeah. do hit. Yeah. Level one. And I think if you rolled the highest damage, you actually could have taken his entire hit, uh, ball of hit points. Yeah, well, <laughs> Steve, haven't you in every single other campaign on the Badgers channel been the first to roll death saves? Yes. Um, right. <laughs> oh, it's, God, it's he's his thing. Cleric. It's his thing, yeah. 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 Thing. And I'll, I'll let you into a little secret as well. I, uh, I bought BG3 this morning, and I, I kicked off and had a little go uh, earlier on today. And so, uh, so spoiler alert: you, you you wake up and you walk in. You're in the first room, and uh, and there's that that pool of water on the floor. And I walked over to investigate it, passed the Arcana check, so it said, "Oh, this this thing looks like it will crumble under your touch." And then the next option is, "Do you want to touch it?" And it's like, "Well, yeah, of course I do." <laughs> so I push the button. And then it, it crumbles under your touch. Great. And it says, this volatile, briny liquid spills across the floor. And then it cuts back to you standing next to it, blows up, and I'm dead. <laughs> 30 seconds after I started the game. <laughs> I did the exact same thing, but mine didn't blow up. <laughs> See, I, 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 I had the same thing as well. The first roll of a brand new game, you spin the dice, natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> It was superb. Yeah, mine didn't blow up at all. I did die about half an hour into it, but it didn't blow up. <laughs> so at least you're you're um, consistent, is what you're saying, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> That's one thing you can say is consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Willing to kill you yeah. no matter what. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of people in the Badgers chat where we were um, thinking about saying I'm like a Deadpool. For the uh, two annihilation characters. <laughs> oh wow! I, d- I didn't. I didn't see that. I, I wasn't yeah, paying I, much attention to Twitch because I'd roll twenty up. I think it was on the YouTube uh, comments. I said to um, 
among other guys. I think she have bets on on who's going to be the first one. <laughs> oh, are we allowed to yeah. enter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just running blindly into damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seamus <laughs> impales himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's a shame. <laughs> yeah. So, cool. Have you uh, saved all that, Dave? Yeah, it is saved. Before that you do. Yeah, yes. cool. Brilliant. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in, everyone. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this as well. Um, you can catch us on uh, YouTube. So, uh, this is on YouTube. Uh, please uh, subscribe here. And uh, I think there's a little bell icon if, so you can get notifications whenever we upload uh, videos on here. And also follow us on Twitch as well at uh, twitch.tv forward slash panda badgers. We go live every Thursday night and every alternate Friday night. So the Friday nights is going to be Tomb Annihilation. So come and watch us live and get involved with our giveaways as well. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Take care. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye.